Number 8. This is 1915 S Wheat Penny in MS 65 Red Condition. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, full red examples of the 1915 S Lincoln Cent are much scarcer than most other dates of the era. Gem red examples are particularly scarce, and finer examples are rare. This satiny example is well struck and displays original copper orange color. A few tiny pepper specks attest to the originality. It was sold for $7,800. Number 7. Here is 1937 Washington Quarter in PR 68 condition. While the first proof Washington Quarters, struck in 1936, are the most famous of their series, the second year issue of 1937 presents significant challenges as well. With a net mintage of only 5,542 pieces, high grade examples are challenging and grades above PR 67 are prohibitively rare. Both sides of this quarter show rich, colorful patina, sea green along much of the outer margins with vivid blue and gunmetal hues on the interior. The bright reflectivity shines throughout the fields. It was sold for $7,637.50. Number 6. Here is 1952 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS-67 condition with full steps. A remarkably well-preserved superb gem example of this San Francisco issue, showing virtually flawless fields with just a few small marks evident on Jefferson's portrait. A tingle of light golden toning accents the satiny mint luster. In full steps, the 1952S is a major rarity in MS-67, with no such pieces known finer at PCGS. It was sold for $7,800. Number 5. Here is 1911 Lincoln Cent in PR66 red condition. The 1911 matte proof Lincoln Cent is twice as scarce in red condition as the 1910. Red examples are seldom offered in any grade, and those in PR66 are decidedly rare, particularly with CAC endorsement. This example displays satiny copper gold luster and razor sharp detail, with only a few microscopic pepper specks visible in the right obverse field with a loop. It was sold for $8,700. Number 4. This is 1943 D. Washington Quarter with attractive toning. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. The 1943 D. Washington Quarter claims a mintage of just over 16 million pieces, and the issue was not heavily saved by contemporary collectors. Certainly none of the known survivors can match the quality and appeal of the coin offered here. PCGS reports just 5 examples in this lofty grade, including this gem. Vibrant luster invigorates this spectacular MS-68 specimen and a bold strike leaves razor-sharp definition on the design elements. Crimson, forest green, and yellow gold patination is much deeper and more extensive on the obverse. Immaculately preserved throughout. It was sold for $11,750. Number 3. This is 1940 Jefferson Nickel with Revere of 1938. Proof gem in PR-68 condition. The reverse of 1938 is identified by the mushy steps on Monticello, contrasting with the reverse of 1940, which has sharply defined individual steps. The reverse of 1938 variety is by far the rarer of the two in proof format, being scarce in any grade and rare at the superb gem level. Delicate lavender and butterscotch toning paints a pastel blanket across the mirrored fields and sharp, satiny devices. No imperfections are seen. It ended up selling for $11,700. Number 2. Here is 1914 Lincoln sent in PR67 red condition. Satiny and well-preserved, showing uniform copper-orange color and no distracting contact marks or spots. Detail is razor-sharp. The 1914 matte proof Lincoln sent is minutely more plentiful than the 1912 proof, but it is somewhat scarcer than the 1913 proof. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $16,800. Number 1. And the most valuable lot of this episode. 1943 Lincoln Cent struck on a bronze planchet. Graded as AU50 by PCGS. AU stands for about uncirculated, meaning this coin was briefly circulated or handled. The rare mint errors became legendary when nationwide rumors surfaced in the late 1940s that Henry Ford would give a new car to anyone who could find him a 1943 copper cent. The rumors were false, but they made the 1943 bronze cent an overnight sensation. When a few bronze cents actually turned up in circulation in 1947, they inspired numerous ads and stories in magazines and comic books throughout the 1950s and 60s. 
The publicity engendered by these coins captured the imagination of the general public to a high degree. In 1943, the United States was heavily involved in World War II, and there was a shortage of copper, a critical material needed for various wartime efforts. To conserve copper for the war, the U.S. Mint switched from using copper planchets to zinc-coated steel planchets for producing pennies. However, a small number of bronze planchets meant for 1942 pennies were accidentally left in the production process and were struck with the new 1943 steel dies. This resulted in a very limited number of 1943 pennies being minted in bronze instead of steel. This highly sought-after error penny fetched a sum of $240,000. That's all folks. You likes and comments are highly appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. We have daily updating numismatic content for you. God's will, see you in the next episode.